right? We saying, brother? Come back in your Mark II this time. So we went out in your G60 last time. Yeah, uh, doing yeah. Rally. So anyone that ain't seen it, check the previous video out. Yeah. Uh, so this is your other car, yeah? Mark yeah, II. This, this is another Mark II Gold. Mm -hmm. um, this is originally a three-door 16 valve. Okay, GTI, yeah? GTI, yeah. yeah. It was originally a small bumper model, but now it's a big bumper and it's been converted. Okay. It's got an R3200 in it. R32, yeah. So yeah. is it actually the R32 or is it the VR6? Because I know they're basically the same, aren't they, engine? Yeah, so instead of VR6 engine, but the VW just branded it as an R32 instead of a VR6. Oh, seriously? So it literally yeah, yeah. is a VR6 engine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing different? Yeah, all it is is that the, the cylinders are at a 15 degree angle to each other. Okay. Um, so it's like a bent straight six, if you will. Oh. So, but is this engine from a VR6 or is it from an R32? It's from a TT, Audi TT. Still a oh, jeez. Yeah, it's still okay. a 3.2. I actually went for the TT yeah. one because it, it kicks out a bit more power from factory than an okay. R32. All right. Uh, an extra 10 brake, so. Okay, so yeah. was it a big job getting the engine in? Uh, it wasn't that hard. Uh, the car was a VR6 before from a Corrado. Right. Um, so doing the, the engine swap was just an in and out job, really. Okay. Um, wiring was a bit tricky, but I had a good friend that converted it anyway. Mm. Um, so yeah, it wasn't that what, hard. I've done what, it in the garden. No, you done, oh, you done it yourself? Yeah, I done it myself, yeah. Wow, okay. So. What is the colour of this? Because this is like, I've not seen this on the Mark II. It's really yeah, nice. so this is not a VW colour. This is an early Porsche 911 colour. Oh, um, right. So a special order on the 993s. Okay. Uh, it's violet blue metallic. Did you have it done yourself? Um, it was a very similar colour. It was painted years ago and um, I kind of just fell in love with it. So I stuck with it. I've had it redone since, um, mm. but yeah. So you got the uh, BBS splitties as well? Yeah, these are your, um, these are 16 inch BBS RS uh, three piece uh, split wheels. These um, were the wheel of choice, weren't they, with the Mark IIs? Yeah, man, Probably this is this is like the, dubbed out, isn't yeah, it? when you think of like a modified Mark II, it's like yeah. slow BBS RSs. Mm. And that's it. And then what tires you got in there? Um, they're only budgets, the Nexus. Eco Dynamics, yeah? Yeah, man. Well, when I was experimenting with tire sizes. I was traction out there, yeah? <laughs> I, need, <laughs> I need to get some sticky tires, man, because it struggles badly. Yeah. But yeah, when I was playing around with the tyre sizes as to what's going to fit, yeah. I wasn't going to be forking out, you know. Hundreds. Expensive these, wasn't they, a little bit? Yeah, the wheels are quite dear, yeah. Because yeah. it's a project for me, it's never ending. There'll always be things that I'll pick out that I want to do this, I want to do that. Yeah. Um, but on the face of it, like I am happy with it, where it is now. So uh, what about suspension, braking, anything like that? Yeah, so it's gone KWV2 coilovers. Um, it was on air ride, but after the engine conversion, it just weren't cutting it okay. uh, to put power down and stuff. So yeah, I've gone back to the coilovers. Uh, brakes, they are VR6 brakes front and rear, um, they're slightly okay. bigger yeah. um, and it's got braided brake lines all the way through from the master and the back, okay. um, so yeah it stops. And uh, front wheel drive obviously, uh, yeah, any LSD or anything like Front wheel drive, no, no LSD, it's running a 5 speed VR6 gearbox yeah. um, and I should really get an LSD because it struggles for traction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What would you compare it to your G60 then? Uh, it's faster than the G60, 100%. Yeah. Um, handling? Handling wise, the G60's got it because it's four wheel drive yeah. and it's uh, not such a heavy lump at the front. Mm. But the KWs do really help keep that, to keep the weight balanced. Um, but with this, you'll find you put your power down coming out of a corner and it won't drag you to the other side of the road. Yeah. It's a lot of torque. It's a torque steer, yeah? A lot of torque steer. And it's NA, and you say the torque is around 280 foot pounds or is it new? Uh, it's 274 foot pounds of torque and it's 282 horsepower. Guys, anybody listening right now, does that not sound like very high for an NA car? So it's got equal amount of torque to power. I've never yeah, the ever car read was, a spec on a car. That's the NA. car was actually mapped by Stealth Racing. Um, and they they done a wicked job with mapping it. They put a linear throttle map on it as well, so it's a bit more drivable. Um, it's going to be light as well, isn't it? So very it's, light. What, about yeah. 1100? About 1100 kilos, yeah. yeah. It's got full interior in it. I didn't want it to be caged up and stuff. One muffler at the back, and it was done by Style Dynamics. So. Okay. All right, should we jump out, Gabba? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's do it, man. <laughs> Same plate sound, isn't it? On the uh, steering wheel. Yeah, it does, yeah. What gearbox we got here? No gear gate here, no. Um, it's just basically, Gang, that's yeah. from a Mark IV, uh, right. the shifter, and it just sits a bit higher when you do it to a Mark II. I need to just make something up to cover it. Okay. This one you can actually um, disrespect a bit more, Gerpa, like, yeah? You can, but obviously it's about an inch off the floor, so. Yeah. So 280 horsepower? Yeah, it's got um, an electric uh, accelerator pedal. Okay. So when they mapped the car, they mapped that as well, so it's a bit more linear, they've numbed it a bit. They're really sharp, mm. 
Mm. Uh, the throttle. So in a light car, it will just be really jerky to drive. Well, that's what the R32 is like. Yeah, when, yeah, yeah. Right, especially when you supercharge them. So what happened was when we put in this car, the mapper said, go out and drive it and then come back. If you don't like it, you can I'll numb it some more. If it's 280 horsepower and 1100 kilos, this has got to be pretty quick though. Yeah, yeah I mean, it'll surprise a lot of new cars, don't get me wrong. Um, it's got to beat an E46, surely, M3. Oh, I'd eat that. Eat it? Yeah, yeah, I'd eat that, no problem. Got to, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So what would you put this on par with? Like, have you raced anything that you reckon? Uh, well, the car, the engine and the car has actually been running like, with the engine in it for about three to four months. So in that time, I obviously had a few teething issues. I haven't had a chance to really go out and give it a good race, but in comparing to like my other cars and stuff, I mean, obviously it's not a Porsche Turbo, but it's faster than the rally, so it's like, you know, it's, uh, it's hard well, to say. Well, an E46 M3 is a quick car in my books. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, if you're saying it's quicker than an E46 M3. Yeah, it's not as well balanced, but obviously in a straight line, yeah. it would get eaten M3 up. What is it rev to? It revs to about seven. Uh, they raised it uh, when they mapped it. Okay. So standard, they're about six and a half thousand, but this one revs to seven. So. Sweet. So this feels going to sing, boy. Anyone with a Corrado, man, give me a shout. <laughs> Oh. oh yeah, it's quick in it. But yeah, it talks there's a lot. There's a oh, lot. Oh, that's to. that's got a nice pickup, hasn't it? Yeah, if you're not careful. Yeah, yeah. It's like it will send you that side of the road as well. Okay. And no LSD. So what, have you got any more plans for the car? Any more mods? Um, I would love to four wheel drive it. Okay. And then supercharge it. I'd probably try and use rally parts. Oh okay. If I can. But obviously, you know, they're not easy to come by. Yeah. You can't really put any more power through these front wheels now because it's just spinning it away and making it more and more undrivable. An LSD would be like a, would be the easier upgrade. Yeah. Um, and people who have done them, who've got other R32 Mark IIs, mm. they do sing their praises saying that it makes the car so much more drivable. Yeah, yeah. Sounds sick. So the roof was a lot lighter than the uh, G60s. Yeah, well this one's got the power steering pump from a, a VR. Typical Golf, isn't it? Yeah, man. Mark 3, Mark 4, Mark 5, Mark 6. They're all just piss easy to drive, man. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. On the throttle, it's just gliding, man. Yeah, man. Wow, yeah, the gearbox feels nice as well, Stick isn't it? Stick in neutral. Just, just scare these guys. Yeah, yeah. Man, it's animal by. friendly and that, yeah? No, you can just imagine they're getting kicked by that <laughs> yeah. horse for miles. Oh, this feels beautiful to drive. I'm liking this a lot. Yeah, you got the KW on, haven't you? Yeah, Jeez, man. that's too low, go power, man. Because <laughs> I said it so low as well. It was just having, like I said, having for that trade-off. For the stance, yeah? You like the stance? Yeah, having that trade-off between how it looks and how it drives. I would love to track this car if I get an LSD. Yeah. If I track it, then I'll probably just take it up a touch and get some different wheels and tyres just so it can stick a lot better. <laughs> Guys, we're doing 40. And it just literally throws itself forward. Just a torque, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, and it turns. It feels, feels pretty planted, like, obviously. It's planted, it's just the road is unforgiving, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, under acceleration, maybe something else. Yeah, no, I can feel it. Like, if I go full acceleration now... <laughs> that, that's so precise, that is. If you don't move it in the right place, that's it. That's an animal. If it was boosted now, you can imagine how crazy it would be. <laughs> I mean, even that's just about controllable. Yeah, yeah. Man, it sounds so good, doesn't it? So, talk, talk. Yeah, you're right, man. It would Wouldn't definitely be... trouble at E46. Yeah, I don't think, um, I think it'd be the other way. I think this, an E46 would probably struggle. To yeah, get away yeah, from definitely. This. this is off, like, literally. Like, guys, this is quick and it's easy to drive. Yeah, good boy, man. Thanks for letting me have a drive. Yeah, no worries, man. Um, yeah. 
very surprised at how good it feels. I don't know what I was because you know what? I've grown up with friends that have owned so many of these. Yeah, yeah. Not that they felt bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I just didn't expect it to drive that good. To be fair, very direct. Yeah, it's just uh, it's quite. It feels light on the wheel. Yeah. As well. It feels modest. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I mean that was my aim, just to kind of with a new engine and that, just make it feel a bit more up to date definitely achieve that 100 percent so yeah guys we're gonna end the video there as always i hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel and remember to check out girl restaurant yeah. salau london road punjab restaurant punjab restaurant banging mixed grills that's what we're going we're on next. our way now we're going to get that now oh. <laughs> see you later guys see you later bye